Hey loves, if you guys want to see how I went from this to this, then definitely make sure that you guys keep watching. So I just put an old t-shirt to kind of dry my hair just a little bit. I watched Naturally Nisi's video. She's like the main video I watched on doing the wet look on natural hair. So she did hers just straight back. But I don't think that I have the, I don't know. Okay, so I got this little thing on so I don't get all wet. And then I'm going to open everything up. Because once your hands get wet, you know you can't open much. So I'm going to be using the Extreme Wet Lighting Gel. Y'all know I love this. This is the only gel that I use ever since I found out it existed. The Carol's Daughter Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter is my leave-in and then of course i got my coconut oil my spray bottle some mousse to finish it off but, but i'll do this step before i do the coconut oil this will be the second to last step it's the mark anthony strictly curls curl enhancing styling foam i saw it when i was in target so i just decided to pick it up it was like six dollars a brush a comb and then i'm going to be using my tangle teaser which i need to go grab so we're going to see y'all if this style works for me or not I'm going to make small enough sections but i'm probably not going to do this too small i think that's good enough so i'm going to try to use gloves too butter on I think I want to use my hands. Gloves, I need to feel the product and what it's doing. It with my tangle teaser. And kind of spray some more water on it to help distribute this product. Now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and put gel. I've seen people use like a whole lot on it. So I'm just gonna put as much as I feel is necessary. A little bit of mousse on it as well. Just for that extra hold. There we go, we got our first piece. Let's see how long this lasts. <laughs> Let me stand up and show y'all. I hope it doesn't dry like white because it's looking real white right now. The heart so I have a brush and kind of brush into these roots. Gonna continue doing these steps and then I'll be right back once I get to the front. Okay, so I'm now on the front of my hair. I got the back, and I'm not really sure how I feel about it right now, but yeah, we're just gonna continue going because I didn't already start this mess.
All right. So all my hair is gelled. I'm gonna add some more of this. Just, I'm just gonna put it all over. And hopefully this will help if there's gonna be like any crunch or anything. I'm not even gonna brush it. I'm just gonna rub it in. Get my edges feel good. I'm gonna add like a little bit more gel. I'm gonna spray my hand in the gel just to get it a little bit moist. And just get it all together. Get these ends together. Yeah, I just feel like my hair gonna be feeling like bricks by the time I'm done with this. I don't know why. It's just gonna be super crunchy, I feel. I don't even know. I feel like up here is where I'm getting the most like poof. It's already starting to poof on me because that's what my hair just loves to do. I just feel like my hair is naturally just poofy. I don't have silky hair by any means. So that's why I wasn't sure if this was going to work on me. Because most of the girls I saw do this, it seemed like they had silky, silkier hair than mine. So we'll see how this turns out. And I can't find my silk scarf, so I'm just going to go ahead and be rebellious today and use a dang on bandana. So I'm probably going to grab my edgy brush real quick and... Go ahead and do my edges. And I'm not gonna add any more gel to my edges. I'll probably use this foam. So yeah, let me go do my edges, wrap it down for a little bit, and I'll be back. Okay, so I am back and we're about to show what it looks like. I did kind of use the blow dryer to help speed up the drying process just in the back back here. It's about 90% dry. Did my edges bam okay it's looking silky and shiny and I can already feel my hair like trying to like poof up on me so I did take my coconut oil I don't know if I showed it in the video but I took my coconut oil and I poured like a whole lot because it was melted in the jar I just poured a whole lot rubbed it and just like smothered my hair in coconut oil because i was just so scared that my hair would be super crunchy but it's actually not it feels really smooth and really nice so will this be a style that i'll be doing like a lot probably not because it takes like your whole damn jar of everything you got in your pantry to do this junk right here like <laughs> It is cute don't get me wrong and then when i don't like it anymore it's easy for me to just throw it into a low ponytail which I'm about to kind of do. Throw it into a low ponytail. So the style isn't 100% like a waste of time. Like it came out really good for me. And I think that I have type 4A hair. 4A hair I think. Yeah let me stand up. I had to stand up so that I can show you guys the back. And of course y'all know I get a lot of shrinkage. A lot. A lot of shrinkage. So yeah, y'all, let me know what you guys think about this style. Have you tried it? Will you try it? Do you think it's a waste of time? I do think that it, lose, it uses a lot, a lot, a lot of product to get my hair like this. If your hair is like in the threes, I think that this style will be perfectly more like a lot more simpler for you to do. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. Everything is pretty major. Also, I have a Facebook like page if you want to go like that as well. And links, of course, to those will be below. Links will be down below for those, and I will see you guys in my next video.